Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So after two years of constant thinking how and whether I should do these reaction videos, I have finally decided that it's time for me to share my opinion about Eurovision with you guys. So this is the first time I'm doing this and please bear that in mind. Uh, I think that with time I will improve in it, but I'm really looking forward to your feedback, uh, what I can improve, what should I change and so on. I'm from Croatia and I've been a huge Eurovision fan since I can remember and yeah, we'll see how this goes. The winner of Festivali Kungus is Agelena Ara from Albania of course and the song is Shy. If I have mispronounced this, Albanians, please do forgive me. Let's start with reaction in 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's a ballad. No surprise here. Hmm. This is an interesting outfit, for sure. Wow. Okay, I like the outfit a lot. Another power ballad from Albania. Vocally, she's ready for Eurovision. Hmm. Okay, it's building up, it's going somewhere. For now, like, oh, lights, just like Duncan. He had that same effect on his Eurovision performance. But I wanted to say, um, right now, I can see that she's vocally very capable. The song is building nicely. The chorus is very melodic, easy to remember. <laughs> mm. This could be epic on stage, on Eurovision, yeah, definitely. With some graphics and backing vocalists similar like Yonida, I think this could be really, really epic. Okay, we have a bridge now. The staging is really minimalistic, but I don't mind it. Violin. Hmm. Uh, strings are my weakness. I love strings. Hmm. Look at how intense she is and dramatic and wow. Albania, you did it again. Okay, this was Albania for Eurasian 2020. First, let's talk about the song itself. It's a power ballad and we know that Albania does that perfectly. It has become some sort of a trademark for them to sing in their national language a power ballad with a very strong vocalist and that's kind of a definition of, of, of Albania uh, on Eurovision in recent years. And I can say that Albania has become one of my favorite countries on Eurovision. I really like this performance. I think it's simple but yet striking at the same time. Um, Arielena uh, has a very powerful voice, she is very sure in herself. I didn't hear any insecurities or bumpy notes so this is perfect. In my opinion uh, the staging is minimalistic but I think they will prepare something bigger for Eurovision. I have no idea what she's singing about. 
I have not looked up the lyrics, but I believe her. Whatever she's singing about, I believe her because she is very persuasive, she is um, very expressive uh, and passionate about this song and performance. And yeah, I, I believe her every single word. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, my score at this point, uh, first listening, I don't know, 8 or 9. Uh, I'm really not uh, too strict when it comes to uh, grading Eurovision entries. I really like majority of them. Um, but yeah, Albania has proven once again that they know what they're doing and I'm really looking forward to see this in May. Uh, I think there is a lot of potential. Of course, we uh, have to be cautious about uh, the revamp because we know that Albania tends to do revamps which can or cannot uh, go really well. My suggestion is keep it as it is. So this is all for my first video. Uh, please do leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to your feedback. I'm interested in your opinion about this song, the Tisti's performance. And it's okay if you disagree with me. If you have totally different opinion, write it down. I want to hear it. I want to read it. I will respond and I will comment with you guys uh, we will comment together and we will go on this journey together thank you for watching the next video is about spain and i'll see you then bye